I am Dr. Rajeshwari, Professor of Mathematics, Satyavama Institute of Science and Technology, deemed to be University, Chennai. In this video, we are going to see about initial and final value theorem in Laplace transform. Uh, what we are trying to say in initial and final value theorem? Suppose uh, if we know the spectrum and the corresponding signal is unknown, we can find the initial and final value of the unknown signal by using initial and final value theorem. So, it is very useful to determine the behavior of the function f of t or otherwise signal in the other time span 0 to infinity. It is very useful to find the transient and steady state behavior of the circuit. So, in initial value theorem, if you know the spectrum of the frequency domain of the function, we can find initial and final value of the corresponding time domain or the signal by using initial and final value theorem. Now, let us see about initial value theorem first. What is the statement of initial value theorem? If L of f of t that is if Laplace transform of f of t is f of s, then limit t tends to 0 f of t is equal to limit s tends to infinity s into f of s. That is we can find initial value of f of t by using the spectrum of the function f of s. For example, if you know f of s is equal to 1 by s plus 1 without knowing what is the corresponding f of t. It may be e power minus e, it may be sin t, it may be cos t. Without knowing the corresponding function, we can say what is the initial value of the signal and final value of the signal. Okay, now, let us see the proof of the theorem. So, to prove this theorem, we are going to recollect the one of the result in Laplace transform which is Laplace transform of derivative of function which is f dash of t. L of f dash of t is equal to s into L of f of t minus f of 0. But we give notation L of f of t as f of s, then we get the expression as L of f dash of t that is Laplace transform of f dash of t is s into f of s minus f of 0. Now, let us use this statement to prove initial value theorem. So, now uh, by the definition of Laplace transform, we know L of f dash of t is 0 to in integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t f dash of t d t. Now, if you take limit s tends to infinity on both sides, what will happen to this statement? Now, when you take limit s tends to infinity on both sides, this s and t are independent, we can bring this limit inside the integral, then it becomes like this and right hand side since f of 0 is independent of s, you can write right hand side as limit s tends to infinity s into f of s minus f of 0. Now, left hand side when you apply the limit s tends to infinity e power minus infinity is 0. So, the entire term becomes 0 on left hand side and right hand side gives you limit s tends to infinity s into f of s minus f of 0. So, that is f of 0 is equal to limit s tends to infinity s into f of s, but what is f of 0? It is nothing but value of f of t at time t is equal to 0. Hence, we got initial value theorem. Now, let us see final value theorem. The statement of the final value theorem is if L of f of t is equal to f of s, then limit t tends to infinity f of t is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into f of s. That is the theorem says that a final value of f of t when f of t is unknown, the final value of f of t, final value of the signal at t is equal to infinity is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into f of s where f of s is known. Now, let us see how to prove this. Again, we will start with the result of the Laplace transform on derivative of a function L of f dash of t is equal to s into f of s minus f of 0. Now, take limit s tends to 0 on both side of the equation, then we will get this expression that is limit s tends to 0, 0 to infinity e power minus s t f dash of t d t is limit s tends to 0 s into f of s minus f of 0. Now, since s and t are independent, we can bring this inside this integral then it becomes limit s tends to 0 e power minus s t f dash of t d t which is limit s tends to 0 s into f of s minus f of 0. Now, you know e power 0 is 1. So, this integral becomes f dash of t and when you integrate this you will get f of t. When you apply upper limit and lower limit we get f of infinity minus f of 0 on left hand side, but f of infinity can be written as limit t tends to infinity f of t. So, it becomes limit t tends to infinity f of t minus f of 0 is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into f of s minus f of 0, but f of 0 is independent of s and t. So, 
So we can cancel f of 0 on both sides, then we get the final value theorem, limit t tends to infinity f of t is equal to limit s tends to 0 s into f of s. So in this video lecture, we have seen initial and final value theorem of Laplace transform. In future, in the forthcoming lecture, we will see uh, how to uh, verify initial and final value theorem for simple functions.